Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, what we're going to have uh, on today's little video is that we're installing all the outside lights. Um, it's a lovely day. Now, yes, it's a little bit premature to be doing this because I've got the scaffolding up and it's due to come down. But because it's such a nice day, I thought, well, I might as well make life easier. So we've took some boards away and things like that. And yes, you do run the risk of them being damaged, but we know the scaffold as well, and they will be extra careful when they turn up, uh, fingers crossed. So if you like the videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, the link's in the corner. Uh, and yeah, let's get stuck into it. I'll go through how we're gonna go about fitting them and what lights exactly we're using. So for along here, we are going to be putting, there's four lights going in down, down the building, building line here, and they're actually up and down lights. Now, as you can see, there is a lovely bowling green here, um, and the owners do go in, in there as well, you know, and it's, it's going to highlight the, the lovely house that they've had built uh, by us. Now, we're going to be putting in these Knights Bridge, uh, I call them up and down lights, um, cannon lights, I've heard them being called before. Um, so those four are going across here, uh, and then out the back, we've got two, another two, which are just going to be highlighting downwards uh, on there. So what I always do on where I'm fitting these is I take them all apart so you end up with just obviously the back plate there take the grommet out of the back and then we feed it over the cables try and do this one handed uh, so we feed it over the cables and then I do my fixings and then I'll put the rubber grommet in but I'll, before I do that I'll put some fire sealant in in here and then fix that up and then I can put the grommet on and then we'll we'll try and terminate it. Now, on some of the lights, let's say on the back here, see they come like this. Sometimes, we, you know, I take these out uh, and fit them with Wagos or Wagos, Vargos, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I call them Wagos to be fair. Um, depending on how those have been terminated, but that's what I normally do. So what I'll do is I'll get you set up and, uh, and we'll start fitting this out in real time. Right, so I'm going to show you how we go about fitting those two lights down there, which is essentially these. Um, now, prep is always key. Uh, I, like an idiot, I did that one there, which was my first one I decided to do. Um, I did that one and hadn't put the bulbs in, which I normally put the bulbs in. Um, first and I didn't and I had to hang kind of upside down off the scaffolding to make that work so I knew as soon as I started oh, one idiot I should have just just did it first time so prep is key so I've already put the lamps in so lamps are all in there we've gone for cool white which is going to match all the other ones that we've gone for on here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly how I go about fitting these up um, like I say it is easier when I've got a single cable coming through like that one. Um, but when you've got two, I'm going to be completely honest, a bit of a disclaimer on there. You see that grommet there? When I've got two cables coming through, I just, there's just no way of me getting the two through on there. So what I, I essentially, I use, you can either use a silicon uh, to seal all that up, and you, or you can get like, um, it's almost like a plasticine style putty I suppose the best way to describe it um, but yeah so that's the two sort of other options that you've got there just to seal it up so what we're going to do is we're going to fire seal that hole uh, up there so what I'm going to try and get you set up this scaffolding is ridiculously wobbly Kean's down there look making it so it's like being on a boat so I'm half sat on the scaffolding here look and my feet resting on the fence and then with a little workbench is the scaffolding uh, and I've got to get all the way down there and do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set you up and talk you through what I'm doing and hopefully nothing falls off including me uh, or the GoPro drops on the floor and smashes into a million pieces so we shall see let me get you set up first right someone's set the alarm off on the club down there so Essentially, I'll just cut that off, put that down there for a minute. So I'll get the 
Now the problem is with doing this up like this now is that if I drop something, sorry about that alarm, that should stop, no doubt. If I drop something now, it's actually, I've got to hunt for it. That's the other thing about doing this like this, but the weather's too nice to not do it. So. so, because we've just got the one cable coming through, I can use that existing grommet. So, uh, you could see from that, but they always drill downwards because I know that that cable comes through that way to get me by 150 into the corner. Which is obviously prescribed zones, I think it is, for cable runs. So, so get that in first. And the fire sealant in there. Seal all that up from the from there, and then I can slide that back. So just it's just using a red raw plug and some 30 30 mil screws are more than enough on on this. If you're going to whack it, it's going to come off anyway, no matter what you do. Now, you can use... Um, oh, that's better with the alarm off. So you can use where he goes if you want to. Um, in here, and that's perfectly fine. If some of some of the light fittings, uh, terminals that they come, come with, are pretty naff, um, to be honest. And this one, they're not too bad. And these are... I think they're Knightsbridge lights they are. Um, so they'll be okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not perfect, but you know, it's all down on money, isn't it, for everyone? So what I'm gonna do is double them over. See if we can do that fairly tight because the terminals are so small on there. I know they can be a bit trickier, and obviously, because you don't want any copper exposed coming out of the terminal. Now you can see that. Quite often, what happens as well is that you'll have where they've fitted those through from the other side that they're too far forward so you don't get um, you can't get your cables in all the way so sometimes you just have to loosen them off and bring them forward
So, so like you say, there's all of it, it's quite tight. That's why I don't like on some of the fittings, they are so tight. And you've got to try and get all this cable in without catching any of it. So it's always a bit fiddly. Nearly, nearly fell off then. Whoa, you fighter. Nearly fell off the scaffolding. And there you have it. Essentially, just going to nip those up now. Uh, and essentially, that's... That's it, I mean there is some movement in those to level them up a little bit, but essentially that's it um, on there, and like I said they're nice light, they're not massively expensive either, um, and they will give you really good effect on the side of the property, because like I say you've got all the way down here, and it will highlight, especially this side, because it leads up to the top, um, it will highlight all this because this is their main their path underneath here coming into uh, obviously the garden and they've got a dog and all sorts of stuff so they will use this a hell of a lot this is why there's they're, they're a little bit higher than what I'd normally do um, but like the homeowner is going to be walking through with different bits and bobs underneath there so he doesn't want to whack them and smash them off um, so yeah so what I'll do is I'll get that one done down there like the other two and then I'll show you once I've got the back ones on as well. So that's the other lights now fitted. So obviously that one there and there. These only shine downwards because that's what the, the client has requested. Then we just highlight the area down here because I think this bit here is all going to be a bit of a patio. Um, so yeah, so that's basically how we go about it. So just to throw those down there. So you can see that one on the on the end there. We've, I'll lift it up. You'll see it over the scaffolding, see all those down there. So just to recap on there, it's just a case of a bit of prep work. Uh, obviously all the first fix is already in anyway. So obviously because the weather's better, we thought, right, I'll just try and crack on with these. Um, so tools you're gonna need for that, obviously, is you're gonna need your SDS uh, on there, a yeah, screw gun, your fire cement, and, and fixings. Um, so yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up uh, and I shall catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.